Well, happy new year to us, I guess. Yep, that's leaking, and it's the solder joint, not the nut. Looks like 2023 had one more curveball for us. Saw a slight calcium track there before, but it was always dry. Leak is located on the outlet side of the water heater. I don't trust that old valve, so I'll turn off water to the whole house just to be sure. Hooking a hose to the washing machine hot water valve makes a convenient and mess-free way to relieve pressure and drain the lines. Opening the bathroom sink hot faucet breaks a vacuum on the other end and allows the lines to drain. Calcium deposits interfere with the wrench until I get it dialed in just right, otherwise the nut backs off nicely. Double checking there's no flammable dust up here, not so much a fire hazard as a distracting stench hazard. This little propane utility torch is undersized and the remaining calcium deposits essentially locked the joint together. A small amount of residual water also stole some heat from the joint until it boiled off. Even when I saw a little bit of solder dripping out, I really had to crank on it with the channel locks to get it loose. Pro tip, do not drop the torch. That said, there is no damage except to my pride. Upon closer inspection, a defective joint caused the leak. Contamination or incomplete fill resulted in this void with only the tiniest sliver between the water and the outside. A microscopic crack formed and it probably leaked on and off over the years, often disguised when the deposits blocked the leak. Chose to start with a new 3 quarter inch thread to 3 quarter inch sweat fitting and type L copper pipe. Hey, look at that! I did in fact get a new deburring tool after the long endurance UPS project. I'm actually quite comfortable with brazing, but have limited experience with soft solder. The key to both is in the preparation, though brazing can be more forgiving. An abrasive pad scrubs oxidation and other contaminants from the surface and slightly roughens it for better solder adhesion. Flux paste applied to both surfaces of the joint will scavenge oxidation as the joint heats up and promote good wetting behavior of the molten solder. Flux is corrosive so avoid getting any on yourself and wipe excess away once joints are assembled. I can see a matching erosion track from the original failed joint inside the elbow along with leftover solder. Cleaning this area is extra important. I sanded the track mark area down to the copper and smoothed any roughness in the rest of the socket. Got flux in there as well so that side flows correctly, and made sure to fully seat the pipe. The strength of the joint comes from the filling of the overlapped area with solder. A shallow or incomplete joint can result in the same type of failure as the original leak. In worst case, the joint will blow out under pressure. Started with the outer joint so heat conducting up the pipe preheats the next one. So far so good, no visible voids. More flux on the second joint for good measure, then back at it before the assembly cools down too much. Didn't need quite as much solder here as the existing material in the joint flowed quite well once heated. Allowing the assembly to cool naturally reduces risk of thermal shock cracking the joints. After a minute or two, a wet rag removes any leftover flux which could cause corrosion if left alone. Joint visual inspection is a pass. Use fresh Teflon tape for the threads any time a joint requiring such is disassembled. Wrap it in the same direction as threads tighten, so the loose end is not caught and peeled away by the tightening action. Start threads and run down by hand before final tighten with wrenches. Use a backing wrench to avoid stressing the pipe. Closing the drain valve and the bathroom faucet. Open the main valve just a fraction to let pressure build slowly and limit the geyser had I made a grave error. 
Once lines reach full pressure without leaks, carefully opening the washer valve again purges some of the air and flushes the inside of the new joints. Finally, can open the main valve all the way and enjoy leak-free hot water. Problem solved, and here's to 2024. Thanks for watching.